Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about this awesome 2019 Tesla Model 3 dual motor long range. One awesome battery electric vehicles. I think it's one of the best battery electric vehicles in the market. We have a big pre and Tesla business. We've sold dozens and dozens over the years. Maybe more than dozens, I don't know, 50, 50 or more. Right now, we have 10 pre and Teslas in stock. Uh, so we have an excellent selection, and I love talking about Teslas. Uh, you know, I'm a used car manager, I'm a car enthusiast. So my job is not just to market vehicles, but also to buy them. So I'm a big fan of Teslas. So naturally, I'm buying uh, some for our inventory. And uh, I think uh, they're a tremendous product. And there's just so much to talk to you about, it, about these cars. They're so different than every other car on the road. I have a hard time not going on and on about this. So I'll try to keep this about 10 minutes long. And obviously, if you have more questions, you can contact us or watch the dozens of other videos I have on Teslas on our YouTube page. So let's talk about this one. So this is a 2000... Uh, 19 uh, Model 3 dual motor long range. We first saw the, the Model 3 first come out in the uh, 2017 model year. They didn't really have a huge amount of production in 2017, so you don't see too many 2017 Model 3s. They really started ramping up production in 2018, and then after that, even more and more so. This one only has 18,803 uh, 18, miles at the time of making this video. Pretty low mileage for 2019. Most people average about 12, 10, 12,000 miles a year. Uh, it's a dual motor. So it means it has a motor in the front and a motor in the back, making it all wheel drive. So it does great in wet, slippery weather. Also having uh, two motors is like having two engines. So it's also very, very quick. Um, lots of fun to drive. In fact, <laughs> this is uh, can probably put most other cars on the road to shame, <laughs> except the, unless you have something really, really fast, especially gas cars. This thing is ridiculously fast. It's a lot of fun to drive. And it's also the safest vehicle on the road. And it's not just me. That's what the NHTSA said that when they tested the uh, Model 3, pretty much it was, uh, you know, safe, one of the safest vehicles or the safest vehicle they've ever tested by every metric they have. The lowest probability of injury uh, in an accident in a passenger vehicle. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's keep it rolling along. Um, so you have this amazing uh, center screen here, uh, keeping the interior nice and clean. Uh, some people might accuse you know, the interior of being too barren. Uh, well, yeah, there are some advantages and disadvantages. If you do like to have like more buttons and stuff, I guess it's a disadvantage, but it's also nice and clean and it's uh, almost like a sensory deprivation chamber in here. You have a nice uh, elegant design, not very cluttered. It doesn't feel like you're in a fighter jet cockpit with all these buttons and stuff like that. It, it's a very, very quiet vehicle. It's very smooth. Uh, and these seats are some of the most comfortable seats that you'll ever sit in. They are just so comfortable, it's not even funny. I can drive on a, te a Tesla for f five, six hours, no back pain. We're almost in the other vehicle. I start to get, you know, uh, those uh, sore spots on my back and bottom, those pressure points. These zero G seats are unbelievable. All right, I'm starting to lose my train of thought here. All right, so we can see we have this really cool uh, map. This comes with premium connectivity. It's about 10 bucks a month, that's highly recommended. So you get the Google Maps, you can stream music, you can stream video. Basically it gives you a uh, cell phone transponder inside the vehicle. Um, so you can stream, uh, let's see, we'll pull it up for you. So you have Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, YouTube. You can also use your phone as a hotspot too, if you wish to do so. You don't get all the features you get with the premium connectivity, but you do get a lot as well. Uh, with the other updates, are constantly adding video games. Um, and now some of the video games you need a you can uh, get an external controller so you can uh, kind of like a like a generic Xbox looking controller uh, to play some of these games which is pretty cool. Then we have the toy box where they have some of the silly stuff like the whoopee cushion. You have a multi track recorder so if you potentially wanted to cut an album inside your Model Three you could cut cut an album with a multi track recorder. Uh, the vehicle can do a light show. You have a colorizer so if you want to change if you uh, some people wrap their cars and. If you're super OCD and you want your uh, Model 3 avatar to match the exterior wrap, you can use this colorizer to uh, basically customize it to almost any color <laughs> you can think of. And then obviously you can also just put it back to the stock color. Uh, amazing cameras. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. Uh, so we have a blind spot camera. Basically, this is an over update they recently did, I think six months ago, which is kind of amazing. This did not have a, uh, the Model 3 did not have blind spot camera for years, but uh, Tesla didn't over their update and they found out they can utilize the current cameras inside the vehicle. So when you put the signals on, 
you have a blind spot camera now amazing and that's going back to the center screen right here uh, you know the majority of the functionality of this vehicle is in the center screen so it's almost infinitely configurable like your iPhone uh, so they can do over their updates they can add features where a lot of other car manufacturers they can't and they're you know so, some uh, I'm not going to name names but there's some automotive companies that are making EVs that have been out for three or four years and I think they might have come up with a couple over their updates well Tesla they're, you're getting a couple over their updates sometimes a month. Sometimes it's hard to keep up with, but it's uh, improving safety, improving features. And this is a cool thing. A lot of times when they have vehicle recalls, which everyone has to deal with, every manufacturer deals with vehicle recalls, a lot of times you have to bring the vehicle into the dealership to have the recall performed, even if it's a software update. Uh, I think almost every recent recall I could have seen with a Tesla, it's all been able to be fixed with an over their update. So is it really even a recall? <laughs> People criticize, you know, Tesla's for having these recalls, but if you don't have to bring it to the dealership, you just get a software update and it's fixed. That's really not that big of a deal. Uh, these cameras are really nice and crisp. You also have sentry mode. So sentry mode will uh, record live cameras. So if someone's ventilizing or snooping around your vehicle, uh, the Tesla will record it. Also, the Tesla can do things where it has like the Tesla beams where it will flash the tie beams just to kind of give people a warning to scare them away. Also, you know, if you're, you can check the live cameras on your you know, Tesla with the uh, mobile app. You can even talk through the horn using uh, the megaphone uh, to scare people away. And uh, if it is vandalized, it will record it. If you're even in an accident, uh, if you have it set up, um, you can have uh, it record the last few seconds of an accident to show who is uh, a cause of it. In the glove compartment, there's a, a drive for a, a compact flash drive so you can record all that data. All sorts of cool stuff. All right, let's keep this video rolling along. Really nice color combination on graphite on uh, black leatherette. Uh, Tesla does not use leather in their vehicles anymore. They've never put uh, leather in their Model 3 or Y. They did use leather for a little while in the uh, S and X, but pretty much now, uh, as far as I can see, I've, I haven't seen a Tesla newer than 2018 with leather. It's all this synthetic stuff. It feels nice. It does a great job repelling uh, stains and stuff like that. And it's also very, very comfortable. <laughs> uh, even though the Tesla is a compact vehicle, you can see there's plenty of space inside. Uh, the floor is completely flat, allowing for more interior space. You don't have a drive shaft going through the middle of the vehicle. Uh, you don't have uh, all that other stuff that you'd have. Like a, sometimes you have a transmission right there. If it's uh, on a rear-wheel drive platform, the floor is completely flat, allowing for lots of interior space. Uh, also, the weight of the battery is very low. It has one of the lowest rollover risks out of any vehicle on the road. Uh, and also gives it sports car-like handling. Nice big trunk. And uh, normally here you'd have a gas tank, but in the Model 3 you get even more storage. So uh, the ranges uh, vary by models in years. So the 2019 Model 3, when fully charged, uh, your range is about 300 miles. But we have a thing called usable range. And with lithium ion battery uh, Teslas and pretty much any electric vehicle equipped with lithium ion, lithium ion batteries, they don't recommend you charge the vehicles to 100% all the time. Uh, they recommend during daily use you charge it to 80 or 90 percent. That allows you to get the maximum life out of your batteries. Also for other reasons, um, it takes a little bit extra time to uh, charge that extra 10 percent. Um, so that's one reason why you don't always charge to 100 percent. And also for efficiency, you have regenerative braking. So if your battery is charged to 100 percent and you start you know, hitting the brakes in your vehicle, it will not be able to recapture that energy and put it back in the battery. So it makes your vehicle less efficient. So daily driving, 80, 90 percent, you can use a slider right here to control the state of charge. And usable range is very important because obviously, uh, you know, of a fully charged range of 300 miles, that's pretty good. But when you have a usable uh, range of 80% for daily driving, that's gonna translate more to like about 200, you know, 50 to 270 miles for daily driving. So that's the thing you have to think about, even though uh, a manufacturer might advertise a, a via, an electric vehicle of having a 250 mile range, you have to kind of look at the usable range because that's like the maximum range 
Uh, so that's why it's very important uh, to you know get an electric vehicle, especially if you drive a lot with the longest range as possible. But Tesla has an ace in the hole. Um, they have one of the largest uh, charging networks in the world, 30,000 superchargers, the majority of them in the United States. There's two superchargers within uh, six miles of us. You can navigate to the supercharger. It'll start preconditioning the battery since it knows it's going to get supercharged for faster charging. And the, uh, see it's preconditioning it right now. There's a little Tesla tip for you. Even though if you know where the supercharger is, always navigate to it. And uh, the supercharging is pretty quick. Right now, uh, I like to utilize this uh, charger. It's a 250 kilowatt charger. Uh, federal way I can get a full charge in about a half hour amazing and even in a pinch I've went into the the supercharger of about 20 miles of range went to go get a coffee went to go use a bathroom come back I'm already at you know 80 90 100 miles so you can even if you don't want to wait a half hour you can add a lot of range just in 10 minutes um, and then there's a destination charging and also there's the ability to charge your house uh, you can just plug it into a regular 110 outlet that will at about five miles per hour. So if you don't drive a lot, some people actually can do fine charging that way. If you drive, you know, less than 50, 60 miles a day and you stay home a lot, uh, that works. Or you can get a, uh, a wall connector or you can get a, uh, a 220 plug and that will uh, allow you to charge a rate of about uh, 30, 40, sometimes 50 miles per hour. So basically at that point, you know, your home's like the gas station. You never, never need to worry about, uh, you know, supercharging that off unless you're on a road trip because you come home you plug your car and you wake up the next day you have a full battery awesome stuff well thanks for taking the time to watch this video i went a little over this time but like i said so much information thanks for watching hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day